Hey everybody, Nathaniel back in the Thermal Tank Workshop, which means we've got a tutorial for you guys because we get a lot of questions on our Facebook page. One of those questions that seems to crop up time and time again is all about liquid cooling. How do I start? What do I need? What fittings are what? So I've got an answer for you. One big, screaming, bright, chromed answer. Chrome, you say? Because chrome is the M Pro fitting. It's also available in black, because yeah. One of these comes in a box like this, and the M Pro fitting is just like an ordinary compression fitting, only it's a little bit smarter, it's a little bit sleeker, it's easier to use, and if this is your first time using liquid cooling, then this is the way to get started, because this makes liquid cooling amazing. Let's have a look. So if we take a look at the different fittings that are available, this one right here is a standard compression fitting. Get a nice close-up of that one and you'll see that it's just an ordinary compression fitting. If you unscrew the top piece, inside there, that's just an end cap. And there is where to go. There it is! There's a little rubber o-ring as well that stops everything from leaking. Keeps the fluid where it should be and not on your uh, GTX 1080 bad thing to get wet. On the other end you've just got a an attachment piece that takes the end cap on this side and of course this piece attaches to your LCS hardware. Super simple. So if we take apart the new M Pro fitting it's a little bit different and those differences are what make it unique, make it amazing and make it so lovely. Chrome also available in black. Anyway we unscrew this, we have a larger end cap, hoop, hoop. And this base plate piece is absolutely flat, so this is where you put your tube against. Like this. Oh yeah. And then inside you have an already installed O-ring on that side to keep it from leaking there. And another one on this side. Then inside that end cap you do then have a metal ring which keeps the uh, tubing in place, as well as a rubber O-ring that fits in there and keeps that in place. And then the end cap that goes on the top. Now, that's a bit of a mouthful, that's a lot of stuff to go through, so very quickly, I'm going to grab you a water block and I'm going to plug everything in and show you how it works when we're actually doing things. So, we've got one of our W4 water blocks sitting here on the shelf. I'm going to use one of these today. It's got a couple of spots to install fitments and we'll show you what the difference is between the normal compression fitting and the M Pro fitting. So, with the compression one, you just have the main body that screws on. Well, now it didn't screw on, now it's screwing on, that's better. And then you take your tubing and you need to push the tubing all the way in to make sure that it seals. Anybody out there who's done liquid cooling knows that if you don't push this in far enough, it can cause problems, it can cause leaks. And that's one of the big problems that the M Pro is supposed to be solving. So if we put the rubber O-ring over the top, then the end cap over the top of that, and then screw it down, that compresses the O-ring and that creates the seal relatively easy that's how we've been doing it for years but it comes with its own host of problems because when you work in a tight space when you need to add these compression fittings to a number of different other pieces of lcs hardware you could end up in a situation where you have to force the fitting in where you have to try and bend the tube or you have to try and create a situation where the fitting is going to fit when it's just not going to fit and it's an absolute nightmare we've got a solution for that because the m pro fitting when you install that when that screws on there, I'll turn it this way so you guys can see it, so it's not just me sitting here looking at myself screwing things in, because that's not a very interesting video. The M Pro fitting just gives you a flat surface that you then put your tube on top of. When you need to measure your tube, you don't need to accommodate for the extra space here to install into the fitting, because you know exactly where it's going to end here. And then it's just a matter of putting on the end cap, putting on that internal O-ring, slide the whole thing down, of course, if you were doing this in a closed loop, you'd probably put these on first and then screw the whole thing down. That's better. And once that is tight on, that holds it perfectly stable. Most importantly, I can pick it up like this, I can jostle it around and it's not going to go anywhere. I can stand here and do my little wizard impression and look amazing because I'm a wizard and I'm brilliant. But this thing is holding it very tightly, it's not going to leak. We've got three internal O-rings there showing that the M Pro fitting is just holding this all as tight as it needs to be and nothing is going to leak and uh, yeah. So there you have it guys, that is a very quick look at the new M Pro fittings. We've got a build over here that I'm going to grab over in a second and I forgot to do so I'm going to show you that instead. 
So as I was saying, I've got a build to show you guys. This is our Versa C23. If you haven't seen that video, we've just done it recently. It'll be the last video that's gone up on the channel where we're showing off this new case. But crucially for this, I wanted to show you guys that for this build, we used entirely the M Pro fittings. One of these boxes, we did have to grab one extra piece just because we decided to include the temperature sensor here. So this is M Pro fittings on either side here. There's two M Pros here up into the radiator one into the water block and then one standard compression fitting on the bottom just to show you that when they're installed side by side like that you really can't tell the difference it looks exactly the same and it fits exactly the same it's just as watertight and it's just as easy and it's substantially easier to use so the m pro fittings are available in kits just like this this has six straight fittings and two standard compression fittings which are right angles you can also then buy them individually if you just want a straight piece if you just want a right angle to help finish a loop you can get those individually as well they're in chrome they're in black and they're also available in 12 millimeter and 16 millimeter tube types so thank you very much for watching this workshop video we're making these because you guys are asking us questions so if you've got any questions anything you want answered drop a comment below we'll make a video we'll answer that question so that you've got all the information you need to make an amazing build at home my name is Nathaniel thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye